Too many of us believe that smoking is a habit, implying it's easily overcome with willpower alone. The reality is that smoking is more than a habit, as nicotine has the same addictive effects as heroin or cocaine, causing the user to desire the drug regardless of the damaging effects. A recent Leger marketing survey of smokers, former smokers, and non-smokers in B.C. revealed that only one in three residents believe that smoking is an addiction alone. The smokers surveyed were the least likely to believe smoking is an addiction alone at 24 percent, whereas 45 percent of non-smokers believe it is. According to the British Columbia Lung Association, it's time to abolish the word habit when it comes to smoking in order to increase understanding that quitting involves the need to overcome nicotine addiction. Veda Peters from the British Columbia Lung Association outlines why we need to combat the attitude that smoking is simply a matter of choice. By abolishing the word habit, we bring attention once and for all to the fact that tobacco use smoking is an addiction that has serious implications to health, such as lung cancer or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, but it also has enormous costs to the healthcare system. Nicotine is known as a reinforcing drug, which means users desire it regardless of its damaging effects. An addiction to smoking can be as hard to overcome as an addiction to heroin or cocaine. In 2009, 81% of B.C. smokers said they had tried to quit smoking in the past and averaged seven quit attempts in total. Dr. Milan Kara explains. Quitting smoking can be difficult. And the main reason is that those who smoke have often become both physically and emotionally addicted to nicotine. That means that abrupt cessation or stopping suddenly will lead to withdrawal symptoms. And there's some evidence that suggests that the average number of quit attempts before becoming successfully smoke-free may be five or more. But there is good news for smokers in the province who want to quit. Smokers in BC have more options than ever. Support programs and more recently access to smoking cessation treatments. We encourage all smokers to quit, taking the appropriate step of approaching a healthcare professional and putting a plan in place. As of September 30th, the British Columbia government is providing access to smoking cessation treatments, including prescription medications and nicotine replacement therapies for eligible residents. This is a very good time for British Columbian smokers to confront their tobacco addiction. But it's important to do that in the context of a plan, and that plan can include consulting with a healthcare provider and getting access to a whole variety of tools and supports. And we know that these tools and supports will increase the likelihood of becoming successfully smoke-free. For more information about nicotine addiction and quitting smoking, speak with a healthcare professional or contact the British Columbia Lung Association at bc.lung.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.